Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Burr brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday, and happy Friday to you guys. Hope you guys got great upcoming plans for the weekend, and it's June 3rd. Hey, we got uh, today's kind of the big day for data this week, so we're going to jump right into it, and we'll start off with the jobs numbers. Uh, we'll start with the non-farm payrolls uh, for the month of May. So last month we had, uh, in April, excuse me, uh, April, we had 123,000 new jobs. We previously was reported at 163,000 new jobs, but uh, it was revised lower to 123,000. March was actually also re was also lowered as well. So the two previous months were lowered. We had a forecast of 155,000 for this month or for the month of May, and we had a disappointing at 38,000. This is one of the weakest numbers we've seen since September of 2010. Uh, we haven't had numbers this bad. Uh, this far off. However, we had the unemployment rate uh, it goes from 5%. The forecast is supposed to come down to 4.9% here, and uh, it dipped down to 47 This is primarily because we had over 600,000 people that dropped out of the labor uh, force here. So that's a pretty big number uh, to skew it uh, here. So that's a little misleading here where the actual unemployment rate, we had over 600,000 people drop out. All right, so Average hourly earnings. Uh, this isn't too bad. We had a 0.3% uh, back in Mar I'm sorry, April, and the forecast for this month was 0.2. And we came in expectations here, so people are making a little bit more uh, per hourly, a little bit more on their paychecks here. And another disappointing one: ISM non-manufacturing numbers. This is uh, the services industry, also known as ISM services industry, and. Uh, it pulled back here, so anything above 50 is considered expansion, and anything below 50 is contraction. So we had a 55.7 percent in the month of April. Forecast must be pretty close to that 55.5, and it dropped to 52.9. So a little disappointing right there in the services industry that it pulled back in the month of May. So this is something we want to keep eye on and see if it goes to contraction here. Uh, Factory orders, we had a 1.5% increase in the month of March. Forecast was supposed to be at 2% in April, and it went up to 1.9%. So factory orders wasn't too bad. It didn't miss the mark too far off there. But wow, what a disappointing uh, job numbers that we got today here. So uh, stock market's done as a result of it. They're basically taking bad news as bad news, even though this is going to likely decrease the odds of the Fed raising rates uh, in June. So the Fed funds rates uh, did drop all the way down to like 6% for the month of June, but July still has about a 42% chance of uh, uh, getting rate hike in July. So, And we were saying all along that most likely they would not raise rates in the month of June because they're probably going to want to see what repercussions, if any, from the possible Brexit uh, election in at the end of June here, which is a week afterwards. Uh, earlier today, we had uh, comments by a uh, Fed member, uh, Mr. Charles Evans, who's in London speaking today, and had made some comments saying that uh, he could see a case of possibly uh, the Fed holding off raising rates or hiking rates uh, on the basis of trying to on a sustaining uh, inflation number at 2% or above, uh, which we've been it's been lagging for a while now. So it's... Um, and a lot of the Fed members have been very hawkish about raising rates, so this was kind of, I think, will catch a few people surprised. It hasn't affected the markets, this uh, comment here, but uh, maybe it's kind of playing devil's advocate in case they don't raise rates and just kind of make an excuse why they're holding off a little bit. Um, so maybe that might be a possibility. Uh, meanwhile, look at the bond market. Wow, it just took off here today. Um, all that money coming out of the stock market going into the bond market today. So, yes, we definitely have uh, improvement in the interest rates today. Uh, as the bond market goes up, these green uh, candles basically indicates they're going upwards, and that helps uh, interest rates improvement. So that's we're up about 31 basis points uh, as of right now. So we're back to where we were uh, almost beginning of April uh, with today's pricing here. So this is obviously good news. We're all above the 100-day, the 10, 25-day moving average. Even the second resistance level, we're just hovering above that. And we're even obviously even further than that pull back a little bit so far this morning. All right, folks. Um, hey, you guys have a wonderful weekend here. A um, lot of good news for interest rates uh, category here. Maybe not so much on the stock market or jobs, but on the interest rate, you know, it's kind of like a catch-22. Uh, you get some 
good news you can get some bad news with this type of uh, program here so the good news is that interest rates are uh show some improvement today all right enjoy your weekend thanks so much for watching we'll see you guys on monday take care